We're going to play a little game here. I'm going to pick a random coin and flip it a few times, and we'll see what kind of coin that was. So by random coin, I mean it's a P coin, so with some probability P, it'll be heads and some... Pro okay. With Okay. Okay. With with some probability p, this coin will land heads, and one minus p, it'll be tails. So, and p, uh, I'm using the NumPy random, um, a uniform random variable, to select that, and uh, to do the trial, I also do that and compare with the p value. So let's create one of these coins. Uh, what do we know about this coin? Well, not much. P is one of those values between 0 and 1, and that's about all we know. So this is called a probability density function. Um, so let's flip the coin, see what happens. So false, that means it landed tails. Um, let's use Bayes' rule, uh, which is derived from just conditional probabilities is all it is to uh, update our idea of what P might be based on seeing a false value. So we might think that, okay, it might be a fair coin or it might be closer to a low value of P because we saw false and not heads. Um, so to do that, we just say, okay, what do we know? That's this P probabilities. And then if it's heads, we say, okay, it's one. Um, well, probability one, if it's p-value of one, that it lands heads, and zero, it, it, yeah, <laughs> x versus one minus x if we saw tails, and we multiply them and renormalize, so we'll do that. So we, we have this line going down to the right. Um, yeah, uh, so that, that's what we think p might be now. So now what does this line actually mean? Well, it means if we flip the coin a whole bunch of times and limit ourselves to just those that landed tails uh, the first time, the p-value of that coin should look something like that. So let's do that. Let's get 10,000 coins. <laughs> so there's a sampling of a couple. And flip all those 10,000 coins. Boom. Flip 10,000 coins. <laughs> And we'll limit ourselves to just the ones that matched tails, because um, that was our result, and see what the p-values are. Hey, look at that. They all uh, go pretty much a straight line. So we have a good idea that this Bayes rule thing is actually working. So, uh, And let's, do a, let's flip our coin another time, see what happens. Oh, it's false again. Another tails. So let's update what we believe about our coin. Well, now there's a little bit of a curve on this line, so we're pretty sure now that it's closer to the low end than the high end. Um, and then let's flip the coin 30 times and update what we think it'll be. So based on flipping it 30 times and applying Bayes' rule, um, we should get uh, some, the coin should be somewhere around 0.28. Well, let's see what our coin was. 0.37, yeah, it's within the range, so. <laughs> but yeah, that's Bayes' rule. Um, the math is pretty simple, um, just based on conditional probabilities. I have this on GitHub, made it last night. Uh, you can fork it, ask me questions, but yeah. So...